This summer, would you like to earn a lot of money? This time, making a very simple business selling ice cocoa. Ice cocoa, not as complicated as making coffee nor milk tea. If you have a small space in front of your house or some rental space in the market near you, this business is a sure thing. This drink is very, very saleable. A lot of people queue up for this drink in the street market cafe that I showed on this video clip. Do check it out if you haven't yet seen it. The shops that are selling these drinks are saying that they can sell about 100 cups per day. If you can sell 100 cups per day at a profit margin of about 20 baht, it is about 2,000 baht per day. Translated to 30 days, even if you are not having a holiday, it is about 60,000 baht per month. If you are in the Philippines using the same cost calculation and recipes here, you can make 25 pesos profit margin per cup. And if you can sell, say, 100 cups per day, that is 2,500 pesos per day net profit. Not a bad business idea at all. How can you make that much money? First, you have to make sure that the drink is perfect. Very simple ingredients here. All we need are three main ingredients. We need dark chocolate. It must be 100% chocolate, not the three-in-one variety. You can also use Milo, Ovaltine, or any chocolate malt drinks. We need condensed milk, evaporated milk. And another secret to this drink is the use of crushed ice. For those that are squeamish, do not watch this video because this is absolutely decadent. I am not sure if you can stomach this, but I can guarantee that the final result is amazing. It is the recipe for amazing ice cocoa. We need to make very, very sticky chocolate topping here. Now, the trick to making that sticky topping is not the use of condensed milk. It is actually using a lot of cocoa powder. So do not skimp on your cocoa powder and follow my recipe first and then you can adjust depending on your own preferences later. The recipe that I'm going to make is for 32 ounces or one liter. So what I'm going to make here is good for two liters of drink. For the chocolate powder, use about 75 grams or 10 scoops. One, two, three, If you are using a level scoop, this is only about 7 grams, so 10 scoops is about 70 grams of chocolate powder. And what we need to do here is to just put a little bit, about 1 ounce of hot water. Now here is the fun part. We are going to use one full can of condensed milk, which is about 400 grams. Wow, that looks like a lot of condensed milk there. Another trick here is not to fully dissolve the cocoa powder. You'd really like to have a little bit of lumps in there. Now, if you're going to make this lumps, which actually tastes good, if your chocolate powder is good, if your chocolate powder is bitter, that is not advisable. You must make sure they are fully dissolved. But here I am going to just make this lumpy so that when you drink your ice cocoa, you are able to bite into some pieces. Just remembering the original Grandma's Cocoa, Ama, she's now 65 years old and she said she's been selling this drink for the last 40 years. I am finding it hard to mix this. Can you imagine a 65-year-old lady? Now this is very thick. You won't be able to pour this into your cups. So the trick that I have seen Ama use is to add a little bit of evaporated milk into the mixture. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit there. There is no measurement required. Just so that we are able to pour it into our cups later. But make sure you don't put too much, otherwise you won't get the texture that you're looking for. This is my deliciously looking cocoa mix. Here is one liter cup full of ice. Do not fill it to the top, leave some space for your chocolate topping. 
and let's measure our chocolate. In the video clip, Amma uses one whole can of chocolate mixture. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to pour my chocolate mixture into this condensed milk can. I would say it's about one cup full or 250 to 300 milliliters of your chocolate mixture. Do not skimp on this one if you want to make your drink perfect and absolutely amazing. There you go, very, very thick. Now to assemble our drink. Evaporated milk, I would say it should be about half a cup or 120 milliliters of milk. And this is your one liter amazing ice cocoa. I'm going to use the remaining ones here for two cups of 16 ounces. Two cups of 16 ounces here. Again, I'm going to fill it with evaporated milk. I'm just going to split it into two cups. So as you can see, the mixture that I made, as I said earlier, is good for two large cups. Now this is very, very sticky. You will have a lot left here. Don't be tempted to use your finger and lick it. And there you go, the chocolate mixture that I made is good for two 16 ounces cup plus one one liter cup. Wow, look at that, chocolate at the bottom once you've stirred it in, but the sticky chocolate topping is still staying on top. It will take a little bit of time for you to stir it in, but if you are so inclined, I would say you start from the top and you will be able to taste and bite into that thick chocolate topping. Mm. It is so amazing because it's not sweet. I think that once all that chocolate topping goes down and completely mixes with your drink, that's when it starts to get a little sweet. But um, let me try the chocolate. Mm. Mm. Wow. Definitely not for every day, but a lot of people would love this kind of drink. I really am tempted to try this large cup. Okay, wow, wow. It is very, very thick topping there. I'm going to try this without the lid on because I want to taste this chocolate. Mmm, wow. That is pure chocolate in a cup of one liter. This is an absolute treat. Mm. Mm. I wish I could have it every day. <laughs> well, there you go. Amazing ice cocoa, very simple to make, very easy ingredients, and yet you can start your own business with these drinks and hopefully earn from home. Amazing ice cocoa by Chow. That's all I would like to share with you today. I hope that this video clip 
provides an inspiration to those that are looking for something new, something different to start with during the summer months. I'll see you again for more of these clips. In the meantime, don't forget to click that subscribe button, like, comment, and share the love. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.